Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Soraya. I'm here today because I'm part of Poochie's Christmas Ornament Hop. I just want to say thank you to Poochie for hosting and having me be a part of this hop. I'm super excited to be included with all these awesome, talented ladies. Our hop will be today, December 4th. Um, also Saturday, December 11th and Saturday, December 18th. Uh, my giveaway will be a $15 Amazon, Amazon gift card and um, a ornament of your choice out of the ornaments that I made. Um, but uh, if you're an international winner, then you just get the gift card um, only. Um, it, um, also, you'll have to um, check out all the ladies' videos and subscribe to all of their channels. Um, make sure to comment and like on this video and um, check the description uh, for all the ladies' um, channels and Instagrams and also um, for the giveaway rules. Um, so... I made four ornaments today. I used these um, paper mache uh, tag ornaments that I've had in my stash for literally like years. They don't even use this um, packaging anymore at Hobby Lobby. Whoops. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's what I used today for my ornaments. Um, also, I found these cute little ornaments at, um, at, uh, Walmart, and I, um, added some flowers to her, and I think she turned out super cute. I'll probably do that to this one, too. These were only $1.98 at, um, at Walmart. You can hear my cats going crazy behind me, so. <laughs> Anyways, so, um, for my ornaments i used um the christmas sparkle collection by prima i love this um also i used uh for one of my ornaments i used the doodlebug paper so um what else did i use um i used a few dies um i'll show you some of the dies i use I made some poinsettias with this dye. I just got it off of Ali. It's just a, you could use uh, any um, poinsettia dye. Um, I got this off of Amazon. It's um, some Christmas words. Um, this one, uh, I think these candy canes are from Surprise Creations, but I'm not 100%. Um, and then of course my favorite one so far is this um cut and emboss uh uh die from tim holtz and Sizzix. i got that from hobby lobby i also oops i also used some of these um snowflakes uh what else i'll just show you as i go along um uh i oh also i didn't have any mod podge so i used the Aileen's um, Tacky Glue as Mod Podge, which worked fine. And also, I used this um, Aileen's Glitter Snow, which I got off Amazon. This stuff is amazing. I used this for my poinsettias. Look how beautiful they came out. I just love them. So, yeah. So, that's the flowers I used for my ornaments. Um, oh, let me just show you that die. This is that um, Tim Holtz snowflake die. Isn't that so pretty? And um, also, uh, you can ink up the snowflakes too. I thought I had one to show you, but I think it's right here. Yeah, you can use your ink to ink up um, the snowflake, which looks really cute. All right, so let me show you what I made. Um, I used, um, I made two uh, of the ornaments, this one, and I also had some 
round ones that I got of these um, paper mache tags. So um, the this is the first one I made using the uh, rectangle one. And so I just uh, I painted them with gesso. Um, so a couple of them I finished the back, but not on uh, two of them I didn't. And then um, I Mod Podge the paper. I put some pom-pom trim around. I um, put a little piece of a feather boa back here. Oh, after I, I put the, um, on all of them I layered it. These snowflakes are great for layering. So I layered that. Um, I added my pretty poinsettias and then the ephemera and the chipboard. This is one of those Tim Holtz snowflakes and I put one of my poinsettias on there. And then also I changed out the hanger because this is what they have for a hanger. I didn't really like that. So I um, just used a ribbon for my hanger. And then this is Elizabeth Craft die. It's like a banner die. It comes with three different banners. So I think it came out so cute. And then um, I made another pink uh, one that's um, round. And I think it's so cute. Oh, and I found this at um, Walmart uh this ribbon and it's great for layering so i use that only 98 cents and it comes in these colors and i think a white an iridescent white and um so that's what i use for this this was a trim that i got from joann's it's so pretty and it matched perfectly i put a little bow on my christmas tree and I use some eyelash trim and some tool. You can hear my cat going crazy. So that was my second one. Then um, if you have this collection, you know it's pink and blue and I just love that. So of course I had to make a blue one. This is the blue ornament I made. And um, I put, I did the same thing. This one, the back is finished. I think this, oh, I finished this one too. I put one of those snowflakes on there. And I think this came out so pretty. And um, I just, the same thing, Mod Podge, layered. I put some, uh, this is a pipe cleaner and some eyelash trim, some little doodads. Uh, this was the candy cane, and I put a little uh, candy cane die. This was a bow from Allie. This is a, um, a rosette that I got from Nurse Tara, like, I don't know, like a year or two ago. She makes the most amazing rosettes. Thank you, Tara. <laughs> so that was that one. And then my last ornament is... My doodle bug ornament, isn't he so cute? So the paper is like um, a paper, just a single sheet that I got, super cute. And then I put a little uh, or, uh, snowflake and then the little doodle pop embellished it. This is a bow that I got from um, Walmart and I put a little pom pom. And those are my pretty little ornaments. So let me know what you guys think. I think they came out super cute. I really love how they came out. So let me know what you, what you guys think. And make sure to follow along. There's some amazing ladies, awesome crafters. And uh, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And I will see you guys um, next Saturday for some more awesome Christmas inspiration. Okay, see y'all then. Bye. Good luck to everybody.